Okay. Um, it's it's been horrible busy. I mean, horrible busy, but I'm not complaining. But I do have to use the word horrible busy. Uh, that's the only way to explain it. I did not go to bed last night. I worked all night long. I did not go to bed. Um, I may have the wrong number for a seller because I just asked a seller if they'd like Mr. Story to receive notifications of showings on the home and I received a reply back uh f off mate so I may have this number saved under the wrong person but I'll have to double check that that's you never know what what you're gonna get in real estate I mean that's that's hilarious um, maybe they're playing a joke on me I'll have to check on that um, yeah let me tell the wife bye and let me record the mileage and then we'll get on the road and we'll talk about everything that's going on uh, my wife is amazing she just she just gives, gives, gives so much to our kids. Uh, Rhett spent most of the night in his crib last night, which was super awesome. I only had to put him back down three times. And that's good. That's good for me. Because sometimes I just can't put him down. He just won't go to sleep. We end up sleeping on the uh, sectional together. He's on one side, I'm on the other. Because he just will not go back down. And I can't stay up all night trying to put him down. So I've got to do work in the morning. I've got to do work. And and as you can see, last night is a huge blessing because I had to do work and, and God was keeping him in the crib most of the night. So that's awesome. I didn't even think about that until just now. That's awesome. So, coordinating settlement statements. We've got three closings next week. God has really blessed us. Coordinating our current uh, client load with scheduling different appointments, uh, photo shoots, all that stuff. I'm gonna go do the final clean on Aubrey and I's old house right now. I was doing the final clean yesterday. I'm gonna finish the final clean today. I've gotta pull the TV off the master. I've gotta clear all the stuff off of the countertops. And I want to empty everything out of the utility room that doesn't need to be there. That way, not tonight, but tomorrow night probably, I will be able to clean up that utility room the rest of the way and clean up the guest bathroom the rest of the way. And then I'm done as far as cleaning goes. Yesterday I did windows, I did uh, porches, and I did the master bath. And I did the countertops in the kitchen, not the island. Right now, I'm going to go clean up that stuff out of the house and do the weed eating. But I can't do the weed eating without the weed eater. So I have definitely got to turn around and get the weed eater. I'm so glad we were having this conversation right now, or else I'd have been SOL. And I wasn't planning on weed eating first because I wanted to get the house completely ready. And I was planning on leaving a lot earlier. But I think I'm going to have to eat first now. Just to make sure that it's done. I cannot believe I forgot the weed eater. I got the boxes. I just can't believe I forgot the weed eater. I'll talk to you guys at the house. I'll try to get some video. Do some time lapse of me weed eating. And some... Uh, time lapse of me doing stuff in the house. Alright, I'm charging up the gimbal for the cell phone to do that video. And I'm charging up the cell phone too, of course. So we'll be able to do the video walkthrough. I'm getting drone shots done and photo shots done on the old house. I'll handle the video walkthrough and it'll all come together nicely. I don't think the person behind me understands that I'm turning where I'm turning at. 
because she is a jerk. Wow, what a jerk. She like stared me down. Whatever. I gotta pull into the road. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next clip.